handcuffs. IRS investigates Meghan and Harry, 11 new bogus companies with 13 Delaware bank accounts. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been dealt a huge blow as it's been revealed donations to the charitable foundation have plunged by £9 million compared to the previous year. The couple's Archwell Foundation, named after son Prince Archie, has today released its accounts for 2022, which show it received two donations amounting to £1.6 million. This compares to the previous year when it received over £10.4 million in donations, a drop of over £8.7 million. After salaries, expenses and grants are taken into account, this means that Archwell made a loss in revenue of approximately £536,000, although the foundation is still holding more than £6.8 million in funds. In 2021, Archwell handed out more than £2.4 million in grants, but in 2022, that number slipped to just over a million. Expenses were up slightly from 578000 to 624000 However, one area that saw the biggest jump in salaries, where 508881 was paid out, compared to 129584 last year. Now the Internal Revenue Services, IRS, is urged by financial experts to investigate these two fraudsters. Everyone knows Harry and Meghan use Archwell and charity as their own personal bank account. They had their 13 Delaware bank accounts. Where's all the money going? According to reports from a source last year, Meghan and Harry have set up a network of 11 companies in the tax haven state of Delaware as they look to expand their lucrative business interests in the United States. Witnesses said that it's here on America's Atlantic seaboard that the couple's busy business and legal managers have incorporated 11 companies and a trust for the couple since April 2020. Experts say there are several benefits in incorporating a company in Delaware, including the state's flexible business laws and its low personal income tax rates. The state in the northeast of America is known for being home to more corporations than people, with almost 65% of Fortune 500 companies incorporated there. While a company's officers and directors must be disclosed, the actual owner is not required to identify themselves. Delaware doesn't impose income tax on corporations registered in the state which don't do business in the state. Also, shareholders who don't reside in Delaware need not pay tax on shares in the state. This is why it's been referred to as a domestic tax haven. The Sussex's filings offer a glimpse into their lucrative work outside the royal family and the direction that the media empire is likely to take. More than half of their new companies are set up for the entertainment sector, with their firms appearing to take names that are dear to them. So what are these and what do they all mean? One company, Cloverdale Inc, has the same name as the Los Angeles street in which the young Meghan Markle lived with her mother Doria. They shared a modest top floor apartment after Doria's divorce from Meghan's dad Thomas. Another company, Orinoco Publishing LLC, may be a nod to one of Harry's late mother, Princess Diana's favourite songs. Another publishing firm, Pekka Publishing LLC, is among Harry and Meghan's listings. The company was founded in 2020 and once held the rights to a children's book, The Bench. There is also speculation that the couple named Hampshire LLC after the county they holidayed in while now mum of two Meghan was in the final weeks of a first pregnancy in spring 2019. And Baobab Holdings LLC could be influenced by the tree of the same name, which is native to Australia and Africa. Meanwhile, Nemawashi Holdings LLC, which was set up in September 2020, is described only as a holding company. Nemawashi is a Japanese term meaning the informal process of quietly laying down the foundation for a project. The Sussex's companies were incorporated by a team led by Richard Geno, Meghan's long-time attorney, and Andrew Mayer, her business manager. Sadly, this is why so many elites create not-for-profits in Delaware. It's all legal. In Delaware, it may be up to 90%, could be 95% of donations, can be used to pay expenditures. It's how the rich avoid taxes, donations go to their charity, and their expenses are paid through it.